Welcome to section 19.2 of Metabolism. In this video, we'll focus on memorizing the details of Fabre disease. Let's get started. This scene takes place at a gas station with an old grandma sitting in a car and crocheting some fabric. Notice the fabric that goes up around the seat. Fabric sounds like Fabre, so the fabric in this scene is our symbol for Fabre disease. If you look closely what this grandma is crocheting, you can see that it looks kind of like sausage links. There's a large segment followed by a narrow segment, which is what we use to represent neurons. The sausage looking fabric in this scene is used to help you remember that one of the clinical features of Fabre disease is peripheral neuropathy. Just like we've done with other videos, a car usually represents something cardiac related. So in this scene, the car should help you remember that another clinical feature of Fabre disease is cardiovascular disease. Notice that the car has a bunch of interesting looking rust spots on it. In fact, the rusted spots actually resemble an angiokeratoma rash. This is a picture of an angiokeratoma rash. Notice all of the little hemorrhagic spots. So the rusted chip paint on the car should help you remember that another clinical feature of Fabre disease is an angiokeratoma rash. Next, notice that we've added this out of order sign and this guy here is pretty bummed because they need some gas. He has the hose feeding into the gas tank, but this is all in vain because no gas is coming out. This idea represents the kidneys. The kidneys produce urine and are connected to the bladder and urethra through ureters, just like the gas station produces gasoline, which then exits the pump through specialized tubing. So in this image, the fact that the gas station is out of order should help you remember that a clinical feature of Fabre disease is progressive renal failure. Many gas stations have some sort of sign that displays the gas prices or temperature outside. So we've included one of these signs showing that the temperature is 120 degrees. Oh, that's pretty hot. That grandma must be pretty crazy to sit in the car without any air conditioning. However, if you look closely at our two characters, you can see that neither of them are sweating. Seems pretty odd considering how hot it is. The temperature sign and lack of sweat should help you remember that another clinical feature of Fabre disease is hypohydrosis. Not only is the car rusted and out of gas, it's also having tire problems. The guy sitting on the ground got out the lug nut remover and opened up the trunk, but then he realized he didn't have a wheel to change the tire. Now he's sitting on the side wondering what to do. Notice that the lug nut remover is shaped like an X. This is to help you remember that Fabre disease is an X-linked recessive disorder. So X-shaped lug nut remover for X-linked recessive. In most of the lysosomal storage disease videos, we won't have a symbol for the inheritance because most of them are autosomal recessive. I mentioned this in our genetics videos, but I'll mention it again here. If you've memorized all of the autosomal dominant and X-linked recessive disorders from our two genetics images, then you can deduce that any other genetic disease you see on step one must be autosomal recessive. So keep this in mind as we cover different diseases with the type of inheritance. If it's not in the picture, then it's most likely autosomal recessive. However, as we've shown in this image, the X-shaped lug nut remover should help you remember that Fabre disease is unique among the lysosomal storage diseases because it's an X-linked recessive disorder. Just like in other lysosomal storage disease videos, we've shown this lizard in the background to help you remember that this is a lysosomal storage disease. This shouldn't be too surprising considering the setting of this image. It's very hot outside and the scene appears to take place in a desert setting, which is where lizards tend to live. So lizard for lysosomal storage disease. Unfortunately for the grandma and the guy sitting on the ground, this stinking lizard knocked over the last gallon of gas. The guy is handling it pretty poorly as you can tell by him sitting on the ground in frustration, but for some reason, the grandma doesn't seem to care too much. Maybe it's because she has something to keep her occupied as they wait for someone to rescue them. Anyways, the gallon of gas spilled on the sidewalk is here to help you remember that the deficient enzyme in Fabre disease is alpha-galactosidase A. Gallon sounds like galacto, and sidewalk sounds like cytase. So these two ideas should help you remember alpha-galactosidase A. Finally, notice that we've added these ceramic vases in the trunk. The poor guy was hoping for some gasoline or a spare tire in the trunk, but neither were to be found. The grandma had taken out all of these useless items just before their trip and loaded the trunk up with her vases. Ceramic sounds like ceramide, so the ceramic vases represent ceramide trihexoside. The fact that there are a bunch of them which have accumulated in the trunk should help you remember that the accumulated substrate in Fabre disease is ceramide trihexoside. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Fabre disease. 